Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the last day of my vacation here in Moldova. As you see, I'm still in my pyjama because I just decided to give you a short review on what was going on here all this time. If you follow me on Instagram and you watched what I'm up to on a daily basis, most probably you saw how was the weather here, rainy and foggy and cloudy. So the holidays this year we spent without snow, unfortunately. So I think I've seen sun only two or three days while being here, maybe. So every single day was not such an exciting weather, but I'm definitely not complaining. I'm really grateful that I came home and I spent some quality time with my family. And I also advise you to do the same thing and take some time and be lazy a little bit. Allow your mom to cook the best childhood treats for you and um, spend some time with your pets and literally just do nothing. Christmas, Christmas and winter holidays is the perfect time to remember that the joy is always available to us when we just relax, so just relax and let it in. Okay, so let's start with some food because this is what this vlog about. I didn't manage to film a lot because I thought I will make a part 2 of this video when I will get back here. There is still so much food to film and so much food to talk about. But for now, let's start with what do we have. First of all, I've been waiting one year for this. My favorite cherry crab cake, which is called Kushma Lugguze or Kachula Lui Guguza. This is how we call in Romanian, translation being Guguza's hat. All the ingredients are homemade, of course, starting from crepes. My mom is making the butter and then cooks a big stack of thinnest crepes I've seen in my life. But that's the whole magic of this cake. Moving next to our filling, which are bio cherries, because we collect them from our garden and then cut them in their own juice for further use even in winter time. So basically we wrap these cherries into the cooked crepes in a pipe shape and then we put them all together next to each other and build that hat shape, also adding between the layers a homemade cream that has vanilla flavor and very, very, very important citrusy flavors, like citrusy lemony flavor, by adding some lemon zest in it. And yeah, basically that's it. We're finishing it up with some shredded dark chocolate on top. And there you have a purely Moldovan cake, cherry crab cake. The moment that you realize that you've been waiting for this one year. Mm. Okay, before, <laughs> before I start, it's gonna be very quickly. Can we look at those layers? All those pipes filled with cherries. Mm. See, it has like a kind of triangle shape because this is a Guguza's head shape. It's so soft. Mm. First of all, this cake is very tender and light because the crepes are very, very thin, which is very important in this cake. If you leave this cake overnight, they're gonna absorb all the cream, which will make this cake much softer. Like, look, the fork is diving is diving so easily into this cake. And also look at these layers, very fruity and juicy and fresh 
cherry abundance. Do you need anything more like this? Hmm? Hmm? Oh my, oh my mouth. Mm. Wow. There, there are actually a lot of crepe dishes that we make, but not all of them are purely Moldavian dishes. We always mix them up with other nationality traditional dishes. So another crepe deliciousness are my mom's signature thin crepes filled with cottage cheese. Completely mind-blowing, completely melting in the mouth. I will just try to show it closer. So this is basically my mom's signature thin crepes filled with cottage cheese and I prefer to have as a spread this sour cream on the side and of course um, as a drink I will have just a black coffee, espresso, so I don't mix up the taste a lot. Now this is not a purely Moldovan uh, dish, it's like a mix of Ukrainian and Russian, it's called plinchiki, storakam. My mom used to make them a lot when I was a child, uh, we used to have them only plain, like only crepes and with butter on top. But on the holidays she prefers to make them more sophisticated by adding some chicken with mushrooms inside, cottage cheese, which brings them to the next level, of course. Again, this is not a purely Moldavian dish, but we do them a lot because we have a lot of Russians here in Moldova and, and I guess they inspired us a lot to include those dishes into our cuisine. Next one, again, Ukrainian-inspired dish is the famous Chiburiki. Chiburiki. Okay, so this is a fried pie filled with minced meat and it has this calzone, you no know, Italian calzone shape. The color is very important because this color gives a specific taste to this pie and it gives a special crisp on the edges. Okay, I'm not gonna talk a lot because hungry, 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 always hungry. And the meat inside is very, very juicy. Oh my God. Super juicy. And by the way, this is an amazing skill, talent, I would say, to keep the dough very crispy outside and very thin and at the same time, very juicy feeling like this minced meat. Meat! Oh. When you make the dough, there is a specific secret that you need to know. There is mm, um, a special ingredient that you add into this dough so you can um, get those bubbles. As you see, there are a lot of bubbles in the dough and this crisp on the edges right here, you know. Um, yeah, so basically they add vodka into the dough. So Ukrainians and Russians, they don't use vodka only to drink. See, vodka has amazing properties to get this great dough in the end. Mm. Unbelievable. Another Ukrainian Russian dish that we used to make a lot is pilmeni with minced meat. Pelmeni, or we call them kolsunashku karne, 
in Romania, which are a kind of homemade Italian ravioli, I would say, but bigger in size, filled with meat inside. They just need to be boiled and then we always enjoy them with some sour cream on the side or mustard. All right, so basically these are few of those dishes that I wanted to share with you, but I didn't manage to fill them all. As I mentioned, I'm gonna make a part two of this video and I will give much, much more attention to those Moldavian uh, food dishes that I didn't manage to film this time. But at least I'm happy that I shared with you that Moldavian cherry crepe cake, which is a part of my top three most favorite desserts ever. All right, until next time. For now, I'm just gonna wrap up the video and pack my stuff because Dubai is waiting for me. I actually can't wait to go back and um, come back to my trainings, come back to my old routine. Of course, I was training here as well, but with this kind of food, um, you are not really on track as you used to be in your old routine, you know, when you have stick to your diet plan and to your trainings the things are going in a different way but it's still fine i don't regret any single moment that i had in life it's all about the balance enjoy the time with your family enjoy the food and have the food that you love spoil yourself but then don't forget to come back on track so yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon in Dubai.